Hi, I'm Robert Alexander from iChem Labs, and this is the Properties Widget tutorial for ChemDoodle version 5. The Properties Widget calculates and displays descriptors for molecules. If a single molecule is drawn, a table will be displayed. If multiple molecules are selected, a drop down tree will appear, which allows you to view data for each of the selected molecules. Above the main panel, there is a checkbox which allows you to turn on or off automatic updating of the widget. This can be useful when making numerous changes on larger molecules. If the checkbox is deselected, then you can click the Update button to the right of the checkbox at any time to update the information in each selected molecule based on any changes you have made. The table itself which is displayed when one molecule is selected, is not interactive and only displays the most important information. When you're working on groups of molecules, you can select your chosen molecule and continue going down the tree by either clicking the arrow beside each descriptor title or by double-clicking the title itself. There are two main types of properties that the property widget calculates. The first is counts, which includes things like bonds and degree of unsaturation. The other is calculations, which include things like molar refractivity and mass. You can copy data from the properties widget by right-clicking on any item in the tree and selecting copy. Then paste the information to your desired location. In addition, you can access all molecular descriptors information through the structure menu option under descriptors. Just go to the descriptor you want. For instance, I want the bond count of this molecule. I can then click paste if I want the information pasted to my document, or if I don't want the information pasted, I just click OK instead. 